Hello, Namaskar and welcome back. Yes, in the last lecture, we tested an initial solution of a transportation problem by the stepping stone method and found that the prob uh, rather the solution is not optimal. And we discussed about improvement of this solution and while calculating the improvement indices or opportunity cost, we found that the opportunity cost for the empty cell FA was negative minus 2. So it is advisable to allocate possible number of units to this cell. And we also discussed how to draw a closed path and found that 100 units can be allocated to this cell. And ultimately, we found this optimal solution. Now again, we want to check <coughs> this improved, rather, sorry, very sorry, improved solution is optimal or not. And again, we have to use stepping stone method. That means we should or we need to calculate opportunity cost or improvement indices for all empty cells. Yes. Oh, let's select one empty cell and as I have stated in the previous lecture we rather I prefer to go row wise in selecting the empty cells so first it will be the turn of DB and in DB we put the positive sign yes and think about a closed loop if you want, you can draw a closed loop with the help of pencil. Yes, this will be plus. Then we shall move to DA because we need to move to only an occupied cell. And alternatively, we have to use negative and positive sign to place in the cell from where we are turning either left or right or upper side or lower side. But it is necessary to reach the Occupied cell only and then from the occupied cell where we where we have received we can move either vertically or horizontally. Yes, okay Then we shall move to EA plus will be there then we shall move to EB minus will be there and then we shall again reach the B So there will be a closed path. So the formula can be stated as DB positive starting point minus DA plus EA and minus EB. Let's substitute the unit cost in the respective cells. 4 minus 5 plus 8 minus 4. So it will be 12 minus 9 that is positive 3. The interpretation of this positive 3 is if we transport or allocate one unit to this cell, the total cost will increase by rupees 3. This is 3 per unit. Positive means increase. Possible increase is rupees 3 per unit on transporting one unit to this cell. Okay, now number 2 that will be done of DC. Okay, DC will be the starting point, but it will be complicated to reach again DC. Yes, from DC, the occupied cell available is either DA or FB. We can move clockwise or anti-clockwise. Yes, we have started with anti-clockwise move. So, I am maintaining that pair. From DC, we are going to DA, negative sign. From DA only, we have now two choices. So, last time it was complicated, but this time it is not only a big square is there. We are going to FA plus sign. Then we are going to FC negative sign and then we can again reach to DC and closed path will be there. Okay, so formula is DC positive minus DA plus FA minus FC. The costs are 3 minus 5 plus 9 minus 5. 3 plus 9, 12. Minus 5 plus 5, 10, positive 2. So if we allocate 1 unit to this cell, the cost will increase by rupees 2. This 2 is per unit amount. Then 
Now it is turn off row E and row in row E only one empty cell is there. It is EC. So third trial will be for EC. EC in EC there must be positive sign from EC we can move to EB but above or below EB there is no occupied cell so we cannot stop in the cell EB so we have to move to EA because to take a turn above or below left side or right hand side we should have another occupied cell that's why we are not going to this cell sorry here it will be negative sign not positive sign yes Starting point positive, first and negative, second turn will be EA positive, from EA we have to move to EC, that will be negative sign and then we can again move to the original cell EC from where we had started. So EC will be positive minus EA plus FA and minus FC. Let's substitute the cost. EC positive 3, EA negative 8, EFA positive 9, FC negative 5. Positive is 3 plus 9, 12. And negative is 8 plus 5, 13. So it is negative 1. Negative 1 is there. That means if we transport or allocate one unit to this cell there will be decrease of rupee 1 per unit decrease of rupee 1 so it is advisable to allocate here but still there is one empty cell we have to check that cell first if we find greater negative amount there in that cell we should prefer that cell only <coughs> for the purpose of improvement of the solution so where there are two or more negative opportunity cost. Out of them we shall select only one that is higher amount with negative sign. So most negative. Yes. Because if there are in one cell the amount can decrease by rupee 1 and in other cell the amount can decrease by rupees 3. So we should go for the cell with the possible decrease of amount of rupees 3 and not 1. So when there are two or more opportunity costs with negative sign, we shall go for most negative. Yes? Okay. Most negative means higher amount with negative sign. Let's check for FC. FC positive from FC. Sorry, not FC, it is FB. I am very sorry. FB positive. Again, we are going anti clockwise. We can move to EB negative. We can move to EA positive. We can move to FA negative. And then we can again reach back to the cell FB from where we had started. FB positive minus EB plus EA. Minus FA. Yes, for 7 minus 4 plus 8 minus 9. So it will be 15 positive and 13 negative. It comes to positive 2. So if we allocate 1 unit to this cell, the total cost will increase by rupees 2. Since the total cost is going to increase, we are not interested in allocating to this cell. So ultimately we found that this solution is also not an optimal solution. There is a scope of improvement in case of this solution. Yes. So what can be the improvement? The improvement can be by allocating or transporting possible number of units to the cell EC. And for that purpose we need to draw a closed path. Okay. We are going to draw a closed path. This will be our starting point there will be positive sign and the path is like this yes so now after
after drawing the closed path, first of all compare the quantities in the cells with negative sign, they are 100 and 200, that means lowest of this is 100, so we are going to select 100 units. Now what to do with this selected 100 units? Add them to the cells with positive sign. Here it will be 100 plus 100, 200 and in this cell it will be 0 plus 100, 100. And then subtract the quantity selected from the cells with negative sign. Here it will be 100 minus 100, 0 and here it will be 200 minus 100, 100. That will be the improved solution number 2. For the improved solution number 2, we again need to use the stepping stone method to check whether that improved solution number 2 is optimal or not by the same method that we are going to do in the next lecture. That's it. Thank you very much.